if you beat Charlie today and you beat Code Miko, you go to the uh, the winner's bracket, then you play, I don't know. Whoa, if I had known that, I would have did what I did last time and, and learned his first 10 moves. You can't learn my moves. I'm unpredictable, no, I, Jimmy. I, I literally would have went through and watched every game of chess you've ever played. You'd have to set aside a whole year to watch my games. <laughs> All right, or at least your last 100. Darn it. Okay. All right, well, we'll guard this. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I didn't even realize they started. They started. And Charlie busts out the, uh, the Dutch. The Dutch defense by Charlie. And wait a second, has he pre-moved his king side development? Yes, he uh, has. Yes, he has. What? Uh-huh. Uh, he I'm has pre-moved the entire king side development. Yep. Oh my That's God. why those those squares are moved uh, mm -hmm. with red. Have you noticed, and Mr. Jimmy? Beast is making actual moves. <laughs> Have you seen? Wow. He lets his chest I hold do the, the future trash talk. in my hands. That's I've epic. Got the future in my hands. Five moves after pushing F five. The rest of the kingside development was pre moved. If if oh Mr. Beast had some pre move training and he noticed what Charlie was doing, he could have tried to take advantage of the pre moves. Yes, that well, he yeah that wow that was some savage stuff. That would have been really tragic. Can you imagine if Charlie just got caught with something? My God. Um, but Charlie plays H4, uh, sorry, Mr. Beast has played H4. I love it. I love it, especially if he gets H5 and then sacrifices. Oh, that's Naraditsky. It's like Naraditsky's own playing style, but being played against Charlie. Did he just say he doesn't have a plan? Wait, he just, he just took instantly. What? Dude, he this get is checkmated very soon if he continues this way. Charlie, danger, danger. Hey, is the best move knight takes h7? Not necessarily. And then bishop h5, pawn h5, and like queen h5? Like, what is we'll the see. best move here for what? I feel like the best move is f4 or something ridiculous. Like, just Daniel hold him the knight. showed me just something like this and I forgot how it goes. Well, it's basically I think chess it's actually in a, a rook sack. Here. Yep. But in this case, bishop takes. See, he knows it. He remembers, but not. Super precisely, but he, he's got it. I wonder if Mr. Beast will realize that as tempting as it is to capture the knight on h5, oh, well, he goes for it. The knight on g5 is hanging. That's the only issue with this mm -hmm. attack. Wow, look at Charlie. He's He doesn't even take back. That's beautiful observation there. If Charlie takes that knight, the game's going to end a lot faster because, in my prediction, because the attack is nerfed a little bit. E4, realizing that that creates a discovered attack and he feels good about it. Mr. Beast feeling good about the discovered attack. It could have been a brilliant move if it wasn't for this this capture or... Oh, actually, wait. Uh, Bishop F3 traps oh. the queen. Oh. Charlie 2 blundered. Charlie also blundered. Yeah. E4 wasn't the best, but queen takes g2 was not the right reaction. Yeah, actually, I don't know what the right reaction. Probably f4, just shutting the door on the bishop. But it was really complex. I thought queen takes g2 for the first sight. Oh, I at just first noticed sight, my. Oh my god, my like fucking queen move, can be trapped. Oh. <gasps> uh oh. Oh. Fuck. I hope he doesn't see it. Oh. Uh, Oh man, see Charlie's problem. Oh He's my god, I just blitz. saw it. Oh, my queen can be my queen can be trapped. I beelined a little too hard. He's right, and trying to play He's fast. He's very sharp. In a really shitty spot. If he sees it. I wonder if he spots the opportunity that Queen is now trapped. Mr. B is the underdog in this match. He saw it. Officially That's huge. Going for it. My queen is now trapped. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, now Charlie's got to really slow down. Or actually, he might speed up even more because he sees Beast got a minute and 40. This is not a position a 700 rated player wants to play with a minute and 40 on the clock. Oh my gosh, Charlie had to get rid of the knight. He is not fighting on equal footing. Like, he has to get his pieces out. That is the issue. I know we're looking at this from Beast's perspective. So all Beast needs to do is play boop, boop, and get something going. Maybe boop, boop, sneak in here. A take um, on d4 now, since the knight has moved away from the protection of the d4 pawn, it's, it's yeah. faced off. 
Yes, he plays King B1. So again, it's Charlie's moment. He's got to get the rest of the pieces out. Oh my God. He is, Charlie's gone off the deep end. But frankly, Jimmy's got 15 seconds. I hope he Ten. will not flag. <gasps> F3. Fontes, he on mate. Oh, F3 last detects C2 and now. He hung the house. Oh, it's, it's done. It's mate. It, it's not just hanging the rook, it's mate. Oh. Oh. Can we cut the Charlie? Gotcha. Can we cut the Charlie? Close call. Pikachu? No gifted subs? Oh, okay. Well, that was oh, far less dramatic than rough. I thought. That was, I mean, okay. All right. Fine. We get E4. I wonder if he's going to play the same opening uh, that we did last time. Okay, so this time he just goes for E5. The problem with this and not playing what he played against Ludwig is the fact that Charlie is prepared with the Vienna, and this could be a short game. Uh, Charlie got the Vienna from, uh, I don't know, some guy, but... Whoa, F5! Is he prepared for F5? <laughs> <laughs> this mm. is an anti-Vienna gambit, if Ooh. we want to refer to it that way. Uh, well, Charlie's just going to take, right? Otherwise, Look, there's Daniel so there many Vienna, Vienna lines, and I have never seen this yeah, ever and... in my <laughs> life. Okay. The reason why D4 is strong, I was just gonna <laughs> add, that, that he still has Queen H5, and still Mr. Beast uh, realized that the pawn on E5 was hanging, so he's guarding it now with the knight. Good thinking, but it doesn't solve the bigger issue which existed prior to D4. Yeah, Queen H5 is still winning. Of course, even D E5, Knight E5 is totally winning for white, Just and, and he's played it. I think now the best move for black is D4 using that open space, hitting the knight, removing your pawn out of danger, and only then taking back. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Beast will take on f5, maybe e5. What's he going to do? I wonder which capture will he go for if he takes any of those pawns. Bishop takes f5 would be the best option out of the captures because that prevents queen h5. But d4, look at you, Levy. You worked with uh, Mr. Beast for an yeah. hour, and now he's thinking like you. Well, uh, by the way, chat, I should say d4 is still losing because of queen h5, but we're just pretending that that will never get played. So yeah. if you add the little exception that queen h5 cannot get played, because clearly no one's going to play it or, or concerned about it, it's then, a blind spot. Charlie didn't yeah. see it when it was possible straight away. Yeah, and then he is... had a second chance he didn't see it. Now this is his third chance, but the more, the longer it's there on the board, the more likely that he still will not spot it. It is a blind spot. He's not looking at that queen check. Yes. There, I don't know what to do. We could go oh. on to it. Oh, I hate that move. Uh, oh, I hate I don't think that. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry that I predicted it. It really is not a nice one. Uh, Daniel, da I'm Dan taking I'm so even... much time. Jimmy's got me um, fucking flustered. I'll tell you what. No, he doesn't, Charlie. No, he doesn't. You got yourself flustered. Jeez, I'm. Okay. I played the like a thousand three-minute games chess. over the last three months, and I've done Vienna and almost all of them. I've never seen someone push this f pawn. <laughs> That's for a reason, do. Charlie. For a reason. <laughs> Usually it's either here, a knight, a knight. Sometimes even a bishop. I've never seen oh, that. For a reason. Okay. All right. Anyway. Yeah, it's not that he uh, that he messed up. Well, Beast, the thing is, oh. Beast also yep. just went all so, in. And yeah, knight takes knight here. And that's, yeah, Beast, Beast, uh, I told him, I was like, you go to war sometimes without developing all the pieces. And this is, you know, that's the thing. Chess is a very unforgiving game. Uh, it's, your bad habits catch up to you, especially if you don't actively try to, like, improve them. And Anna, Anna, having said that, if knight d4, c5. I was going to say, there's, it's not that simple to counter this. Charlie is up a piece, but in order to keep the piece, he has to find bishop d2. Wow, Best yeah, move. Charlie's, Charlie's definitely sharp. Yeah, Charlie's just got to keep focused here. It can be really difficult to play people who have five seconds. Because you just, it's like nonstop. And boom. Like right now, rook c6, best move. Take the pawn with check. Take, he misses it. Attacks the rook. He's got to see the rook that's under attack. Three... Two, one. one beast. Oh, back to that square. Oh, and he took it this time. Oh, he takes it. I think that might be it. I think that might be it. Now, beast is still firing off moves. Oh, he's threatening C4. Yep. Charlie can take. Yeah, now the rook's getting out of there. He's kicking the rook out. Two, and, 
one zero point nine seconds when Mr. Beast made his final move. G six. Clean, clean, clean. Rookie seven, rookie seven is gonna happen now. Oh, king c seven. Take the. Okay, that's just and there it is. Beast wow. resigns yeah. the game and Charlie. An emphatic. What a game. Fashion. Oh. Got the dogs. Basically prime fire and resub Ikaku Dog Turbo. They were prime. watching. They're like, oh, go, go, dad. Uh, but anyways, regardless, uh, GG's, you got the best of me. Um, and what what did you think of the game? I thought it was good, man. When you trapped my queen, I was like, yep, I'm <laughs> Jimmy saw it. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah, not an easy the, move to spot. Yeah. It was a, a move uh, deep in the second game where I actually could put my rook in front of your, one of your pawns. And I, and I didn't see it. Yeah, I just, <laughs> yeah, I, I just looked at that. I, I was so preoccupied with moving my knight. I didn't even look at my pawn. It's yeah. Yeah. because my gut told me too. I was like, I guarantee you, he doesn't see it. I was like, there's just something about how weird this board is. He's gonna be so focused over here. I was like, I'm gonna get away with this, and I did. Yeah, but not the second time. The second time. Uh, yeah, the second Char time I got it. <laughs> Char Char Charlie was like. Question for you, because you know you got a, you got obviously the prophet, uh, and uh, he's watching. He's watching your games. You ever like hear his voice in your head? I know we did a lesson or two, but it's not the same. You got a full time coach. Seriously, you ever hear his voice and like what he's gonna say to you when when he's done? Your games are done. Jesus, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a, I can already hear it. A hundred percent. The ravings of a madman. The pre moves. I know he did not enjoy. And then uh, in the second game, when you pushed that F pawn, I'd never seen it before. <laughs> I, I pay, I've played so many Vienna games, but I've never seen the F pawn push, so I didn't know how to react at all. And I missed yeah. a huge sequence if I went over to the H file. And I know he was screaming. He probably threw his coffee cup on the ground and just flipped over his table. That's Does fun. it feel like a, like a, like you're a chess kid and he's a chess parent a little bit? Like you come out of the tournament room and you're like, I won. And he's like, you missed seven moves. And Yeah, that's absolutely how that feels. <laughs> it feels like he's the strictest chess parent ever. Yeah. I, I enjoyed – Pog Champs was so much more fun than I thought it would be. Um, I, I assume this is your second one because I saw that clip on uh, YouTube where you checkmated HQC or whatever. Um, and, yeah, we uh, don't even remember his name. It was so brutal. <laughs> but, uh, and so now, now that I've experienced it, ne next time I'm in one, I'm definitely going to train a lot. Like, this was a lot of fun. Uh, you're not done. Oh, we, we yeah, please don't say goodbye. No, no, no. You're, you're not done. You got you got a game in like a day or two against Code Miko. Yeah, but, and then... all right, but now I'm like doomed to lose. Like, there's no way I win. No, oh, I no, think no, you've no, got no. a great chance against <laughs> no. Miko. That's the crazy yeah, thing. But, because... but that's like the petty game. Like, it's like, you know, no, I mean? I'm dude, at like, the bottom of the bottom. Listen. Jimmy, draw some inspiration. You got a guy here who last time he played in this event was around the same strength you are now, right? And then, Charlie, you now went- Now I'm worse. To... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I, 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 I didn't say that, you said that, but you went to the consolation bracket and then you won it.